Shalom from Jerusalem. My name is Jeremy Smith. I am the National Coordinator for Ebenezer Operation Exodus here in the land of Israel. Uh, we have a small office in Jerusalem where we have staff who speak a number of different languages because what is happening now is people are coming from all over the world and so they need assistance in when they get here to establish themselves. So we run a small office and we also have a house in Haifa which when it's fully running will be able to take 20 new immigrants at a time. And the purpose of this is to give uh, those coming a first place to stay. You know, the Jewish agency, if they know you're Jewish, will, uh, uh, but you don't have an address, will, will not allow you to come. So we offer that first address. So we have a, a vital work to do. At the moment, I'm traveling up to Haifa, our house in Haifa which is a three-story house. Uh, it's not quite fully operational yet. We still have work to do on the first floor. But we're traveling up there to meet a Russian family. And they want to share their story coming to Israel. And really what the Haifa house has meant for them when they first arrive. I can see as time goes on more and more uh, needing places like this you know we're watching more and more Jewish people looking to return to Israel I think uh, with America especially you know over this lockdown over the, the stopping of flights has been a wake-up call for many Jewish people who have always said look next year in Jerusalem but when the doors close they realize that a time might come when those doors will close and so more are considering coming and so Israel needs to be ready and in a sense in our small way we will do what we can to make their landing uh, as smooth as possible. Living in Israel is very challenging. It's a very expensive place to live. It can be a very lonely place when you first come. You know, when you're learning the language, trying to find a job, when you're trying to make friends and, and meet people. I used to look at it, you know, the journey came all the way to Israel for people and then you left them here, but uh, I think the journey continues as we all try and uh, make a life in a new country. I'm with Yelena and Dmitry Bigvata from the Ukraine. Can you tell me when you first arrived here in Israel? Uh, we arrived at January 12th this year. So what, did, what was it that brought you here? to Israel at this time? Uh, we were going to come to Israel long, long ago, but it uh, was problems with documents because of war, because to find documents. And that's why uh, we go to a Benazin at Ukraine, in Ukraine, and they uh, help, helped us there. And they uh, found a uh, document there. They, uh, get us to consul, they get us to airport in Kyiv. I think that uh, without this help it was very difficult to us to get to Israel. All people uh, uh, of Ebenezer do very important uh, things uh, and it is very important to people that uh, uh, need help uh, to, uh, at his, their way to Israel to know about these uh, people and about this organization. And I'm with Brina Cohen, who made Alia some time ago. How, how long ago have you, when June did you come? June 2018. How has it been? Uh, it's been good, it gets better and better. Okay, and so tell me a little bit about your background, your parents. My uh, dad is 100% Jewish and he's from Brooklyn, New York. and. Uh, I always knew that we were Jewish. He always told us we were Jewish. And uh, so, but I didn't really know what that meant. We didn't go to synagogue or any place. Then in 1992, I came to Israel on a visit. And that's when I found out that the Jewish people were moving back to Israel. I didn't know before that. I'd never heard the word Aliyah. And uh, so I started thinking maybe I would. I'd met somebody in Texas that lived here and she said she would help me mm -hmm. and she even rented an apartment for me and uh, and then I hooked up with Ebenezer here in Israel and uh, that was a, a big help because uh, I was able to come and volunteer at Ebenezer it gave me something to do sure. I felt more a part of the land 
more a part of community. It well, keeps me busy. Yeah, well, welcome to Israel. Thank you, thank and, you. Uh, uh, Brina has been a tremendous support. We have a small office, and Brina has just come along like a, a breath of fresh air and been a tremendous support to us. I'm with Susan van der Boer, who has been in the country now for how long? Uh, eight weeks. Why did you decide to come here now? What was it? Uh, yeah, why now? I thought now or never. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to come here all my life, really. But it never happens. And so every time there was an excuse not to come. Especially because of the virus coming, I thought, suddenly I thought, I might not have an opportunity anymore because this uh, times are changing and the borders were closing and I thought if I don't go now I might not be able to go. Did Ebenezer uh, International play any part in your yes, decision or your coming? They, or? No, not in my decision but uh, I knew they were there so I contacted them. It was so good to know they mm -hmm. were behind me, they were praying for me, they would um, you know, arrange things and at the last uh, week they came for four days, every day there were about six volunteers to help. It was amazing and all for people on pension, they were in their 70s sometimes <laughs> and walking down the, up and down the stairs with all the heavy boxes, I was amazed and they were all so motivated and so it was very special. I. I really appreciated what they did. So Ebenezer now has been going for over 30 years, uh, supporting and helping the Jewish people returning to Israel. Uh, traditionally what has happened is they, they, they've assisted to bring the Jews back. They've helped with finding documents. They've helped with packing their belongings, uh, and organizing and even uh, bringing them to the airport. Uh, done that for many years. But uh, two years ago it became clear that unless we help people in the land, you know, the Bible talks about planting them in the land. And so this particular area of Ebenezer, Israel, is working on helping people as they arrive. We're also taking food cards around, you know, during COVID-19 many people, a lot of the country lost their work and their jobs and so haven't been able to provide the finances to get food and so we are working through the donations of uh, Christians around the world to get food cards to them and get food to them so that they can continue their life here in Israel. So we're leaving Jerusalem delivering our first lot of uh, food parcels to the Jewish Agency Absorption Centers. We'll be traveling for uh, probably about two days delivering 200 packages uh, from the north down to Ashkelon, Ashdod and Beersheba. So we're uh, hopefully going to have a good few days. Over the last nine months, really most months, I've been traveling around supporting with uh, uh, food cards or food parcels to help them and really they're incredibly grateful. We value your prayers and we thank you for everything, all your support and everything you're doing. And as we know, as it says in scripture, um, in Ezekiel 36, God is doing this. He's bringing the Jewish people back so that the nations will know that he is the Lord. So greetings and shalom from Jerusalem.